Well, that's something weird for you. So I was taking apart my computer to install a new graphics card, and look what's happened to my RAM. Uh, this computer has just been in use under my desk, and it hasn't been touched. But look at the RAM heating. And if we take the stick out, it's come entirely loose. Now, how on earth has that, that happened? This heatsink was on properly when I installed it. And you push down on the heatsink to see the RAM, but it's just come off on its own. Go figure. Never seen that happen before. And it's actually happening to both sticks as well because I just re the heatsink on this one and look at how much taller that one is. So if we take this one out, I'm sure it's just going to be popping off as well. Yeah. There you go. The heatsink's coming off. I wonder what's causing this. I mean, you wouldn't think this RAM is running too hot. I'm not overclocking it or anything. It's just running on standard XMP settings. Hmm. I should probably clamp this down better then. I wonder if this is a common issue on what's this? HyperX Fury. The particular number of this module is HX three one six C ten FB K two slash sixteen. We're about a year old, not even. And if you're curious to find out what's in my video editing PC, I suppose this is a golden opportunity. Uh, the hardware got is just uh, absolutely normal. It's some 2500K. I just put this uh, GeForce 750Ti in it to get rid of uh, the mess of that old AMD card over there. The cooling is a bit unique in this computer, if I'd say so myself. Above all, we have no power supply fan. That's been deleted in order to quiet the computer down and uh, we've got quite a few 120mm fans going except they're all running at extremely low speed you can see the little marker going round on that one and mo most of them are running at pretty similar speeds so the thought is to have an absolutely quiet computer as quiet as it can get so this is a knock to a uh, NF12B or something, I don't remember, it's been sitting here since forever and it's entirely decoupled from the case as you can see and it's uh, sucking air, it's sitting inside the case for, for a good reason because that uh, brings all the turbulence noise away from the front of the computer so it's kind of noise in here and it just gets quiet as it's sucking air, there's normal an air filter in the front there and this entire hard drive chamber is, uh, I've stuffed a few socks in there and it's just taped shut so this is a quite uh, airtight chamber so that it, it's not just circulating air around like so it's actually pulling it in from the outside then the air is getting fed mostly to the bottom side of the GPU where it's uh, partially passing through this uh, heatsink this is an old Accelero S1 heatsink uh, passive usually but I've stuck a fan on it so the air is going a bit through there it's getting sucked off by this extremely slow running gentle typhoon and when computers under 100% uh, load right now by the way so the air is getting sucked through this fan through the GPU and some is passing over it as well and it's getting guarded by this little sheet of plastic to just get rid of this uh, corner which doesn't need any airflow when it goes uh, into this general area where it's uh, going through the CPU cooler and onto its way towards the power supply and uh, this uh, Noctua NFS12B ULN is uh, just uh, providing a bit of extra positive pressure around here to essentially increase airflow through the power supply because that's uh, where I mostly want to make sure it stays cool I've got no issues uh, cooling the GPU nor the CPU um, neither ever breach 50 degrees I think yeah the, the GPU under full load is sitting at 48 degrees right now and uh, we've also got this uh, piece of plastic to prevent air from going up here and instead just curving its way out through the power supply and this is a very very quiet running machine it's basically inaudible once I have the uh, side and front on because they too are uh, noise cancelling this is just this is some heavy foam on there and this is some light foam to just provide a seal around the low pressure 
zone around the front fan and the front panel also has a lot of foam in the 525 inch slot and it's just uh, essentially allowing air through in there. I've also taped over uh, most little holes that which would allow air to uh, leak through on the case because I really want to guide all air out through the power supply so everything's just uh, taped up tight and uh, th this fan is also decoupled from the case uh, just using this uh, window sealing stuff it's really good for just decoupling stuff so this uh, air or fan a grilly thing is just strapped uh, around the dampening material and onto the fan and there's another layer of damping material on there so it's entirely decoupled it, it was a pretty tight fit getting it uh, properly in there without having major leakage around it there's also uh, sealing material uh, around the edges of the case in order to prevent air from leaking out again to make sure that as much air as possible is get, getting routed through the power supply and yeah there's just uh, socks stuffed <laughs> in, in the front area here to prevent leakage and uh, there, there's an SSD shoved in there somewhere just uh, providing a bit of local storage around most of my server anyway so now I've got 250 gigs in it oh yeah and this is a RAM stick uh, just uh, holding the GPU up so it doesn't sag so there you go, cheerio